Today is Gaudete Sunday, the Sunday of rejoicing. As we draw closer to Christmas, the liturgy invites us to cry out to God with joy and gladness. We should rejoice because our salvation is at hand. As we make time for external preparations, we do also our best to spiritually be prepared. We heed John the Baptist's challenge of translating renewal into concrete deeds. We strive to be kind, honest, and truthful in our day-to-day -day living. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When John the Baptist heard in prison of the works of the Christ, he sent his disciples to Jesus with this question, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. As they were getting going off, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine clothing. Those who wear fine clothing are in royal palaces. Then why did you go out to see a prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the greatest in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Once there was a great order that had a monastery in the, the, in, in the forest. It used to be a very great order, but now it is dying, and its monastery is decaying, and they now have only five members left. And near the monastery, there was a rabbi who lived in a small hut. And the monks always knew that the rabbi was home whenever they see smoke coming out through the, to, through the treetops, no? from, the fire that, from, from the fire of the rabbi in his house. And so the abbot decided, maybe I should pay this rabbi a visit and maybe learn from his wisdom. And so he went to the rabbi's hut, and the rabbi welcomed him into his hut. And when the abbot explained the reason for his visit, the rabbi could only sympathize with, her, with him. Sabi niya, ay nako, I know how it is, he exclaimed. The spirit has gone out of the people. It is also the same in my town. Almost no one comes to the synagogue anymore. And so the abbot and the rabbi spoke about, talked about a lot of things about the Bible and the challenges to their faith until the hour came for the abbot to leave and go back to the monastery. And he says, it has been a wonderful visit, said the abbot, but I have failed in my purpose. Is there nothing you can tell me to help save my dying order? And the rabbi said, the only thing I can tell you is that the Messiah is among you. The Messiah is among you. And so the abbot returned to the monastery and his fellow monks asked him, Oh, what happened? What did the rabbi say? And the abbot says he could not help us. The only thing he did say was that the Messiah is among us. Though I do not know what these words mean. So in the months that followed, the monks reflected on this and wondered whether there was any possible significance to the rabbi's words. The Messiah is among you. 
Could he possibly have meant that the Messiah is one of us monks here in the monastery? And if that's the case, which one of us is the Messiah? Do you suppose he meant that it was the abbot who was the Messiah? Kasi nga abbot siya. Yes, if he meant anyone, he probably meant Father Abbot. Certainly, he could not have met Brother Elred, yung isang brother doon, no? Kasi ang sungit-sungit niya. He is so ill-tempered, he cannot be the Messiah. But then again, he can be right most of the time. When he speaks, he speaks with words of wisdom, and he may be right. He couldn't possibly have meant me, for example, I am not worthy to be the Messiah. So these are the thoughts of the monks in the succeeding months. And as they contemplated in this manner, the monks began to treat each other with extraordinary love and respect, just in case one of them is the Messiah. And in turn, the monks began to also treat themselves with extraordinary love and respect just in case they themselves were the Messiah. And now it so happened that people will occasionally come and visit the monastery without even being conscious of it. Visitors began to sense a powerful spiritual aura in the monastery. They were sensing the extraordinary love and respect that is now filling the entire monastery. May ibang vibe, sabi nga nila. And hardly knowing why, people began to come to the monastery frequently to picnic, to play, and to pray. And they began to bring their friends, and their friends brought their friends. And now suddenly, young men also started coming into the monastery and they began talking to the older monks and they decided to join the congregation, to join the order. And within a few years, the monastery once again became a thriving order, a vibrant center of light and spirituality in the realm, thanks to the gift of the rabbi. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, today, Gaudete Sunday, the Sunday of joy, we rejoice because the Messiah is already among us. But how is the Messiah among us when we continue to await the coming of the Messiah, the second coming of Christ? In today's first reading, the prophet Isaiah awakens the joy in our hearts, in the hearts of the Israelites, announcing, Here is your God. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the dumb will sing. In other words, in other words, the Lord's peace and justice, the Lord's salvation is already happening, yet it is not yet complete. We rejoice because we do not have to wait until the end to be able to experience and see the peace and the justice promised by the Lord. But we all know that justice and peace is not complete in our world. We only have to look around us to realize that many still yearn for peace and justice. The poor continue to hope for a decent and humane life for themselves and for their families. And those who have suffered violence and injustice in the hands of the powerful and the mighty, in the hands of others, they still continue to wait for justice. They have waited for years and they continue to wait. Some even die without seeing peace and justice. And perhaps in their minds, they ask, where is the promised Messiah? Pero tingnan natin, no? isipin natin, kung sila ang nagtanong sa inyo, what John asked Jesus, are you the one who is to come or should we look for another? Are you the promised Messiah? Or should we look for another? Can you be Christ the Messiah to us? What is your answer? 
The Apostle James tells us in our second reading that waiting for the fulfillment of our expectations and our longings, we need to be patient. And But using the example of a farmer, he makes it clear that patience does not mean just simply sitting back and waiting things to unfold before your eyes. Hindi mangyayari, hindi tutubo ang mga halaman kung uupo ka lang at manunood ka lang. Like John the Baptist who prepared the way for Jesus, a farmer has to meticulously till the soil, clear away the rocks and the weeds, and carefully plant the seed. It takes both hard work for, of the farmer and the gift of rain for the plants, for the plants, to, for the plants to come out. And therefore, it takes our patience and the grace of God for peace and justice to happen. Patience is doing everything we can do while at the same time relying on the grace of God. And that is what we have to do in this time of waiting. And also through the prophet Isaiah, the Lord invites us to do something. He says, strengthen the hands that are feeble, make firm the knees that are weak, say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. In other words, we are invited to encourage and strengthen each other. Be the presence of the Messiah to others. And so, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, just imagine we have a world waiting for peace and justice. They are waiting for goodness to happen in this world. And people come to you and ask you, are you the one who is to come? Are you the one who is going to make this happen? Or should we look for another? Should we look for another? Are you the promised Messiah? Or should we look for another? And so today we ask ourselves, how can I be Christ the Messiah to others? You desire and dream for a world full of love? Then do selfless acts of love to others. You want a world that is just and fair? Then be just and fair in your dealings with others. You want a world of peace? Then give and receive understanding and forgiveness. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, today, Gaudete Sunday, we rejoice not because the kingdom of God is complete, but because we can see that the kingdom of God is unfolding before our eyes. And it will continue to unfold. unfold. The peace and justice of God will continue to happen only if daily we decide to be the Messiah. We decide, we decide to be the presence of the Messiah. We decide to be the peace and justice of the Lord. Amen. And for your homework, we Advent is about waiting, waiting for the kingdom of God to happen in our lives. It is waiting for the love, the peace, and the justice promised by God to happen in our lives. And as I've said earlier, we just do not sit down and wait for things to unfold before our eyes. If it is to happen, it will happen because we have the Messiah within us. And so you just imagine yourself this week, people are waiting for goodness to happen in this world. And I always remind students about that. Yes, become better so that you can do goodness to this world. Pero wag naman natin tagalan. Kasi may mga taong namamatay na hindi nakikita ang kabutihan. Namamatay na hindi nila nakikita ang justice na hinihintay nila. Maraming taong ganyan. Bakit? Kasi walang kumikilos. And therefore, you imagine yourself, if somebody asks you, are you the one who is to come? Or should we look for another? Ano ang sagot mo? Yes ba? Sana naman, yes. At pag yes ang tanong mo, just ask yourself, what concrete goodness can I bring to the world today? 
What concrete goodness, goodness that can I bring to the world today?